Hi friends, it's Royce Rosewood of the Ragged Mancers, and it's November, it's a new month, so time for a regular update. I have a section of things that I was planning to talk about, and then at the end I have some things that I was not planning to talk about. That is the format that we're going for. A couple updates about my book. Oops, I broke the wizard's android. A couple of fun things. I went to my very first convention recently. I went to Mile High Con in Denver. I had been to conventions uh, before, but this is the first time I went with the purpose of like networking and marketing my book. Um, I didn't really know what to expect, so I kind of um, kind of eased myself in. But they did have an opportunity where I got a slot, just like a short two-hour slot at the author co-op table. So I got a little taste of what it's like to sit and you know talk to people about my book. And I ended up cards with the free link to the ebook. That was really fun. So I also got to meet a lot of other local authors, and I got to meet a local author named Rachel Renner, who I had heard of before and was on her mailing list. And she is doing really well. And she was so generous with her time and expertise. I just kind of got to stand and like kind of pick her brain for like 20 minutes, which, uh, and she was so encouraging and friendly and helpful. Anyway, I bought one of her books and currently reading it. This is Amethysts and Alchemy. I really appreciated that. And it just made me feel so good <laughs> to be the tiniest baby self-published author. And she's this, you know, self-published um, success story. So I got my book into a local bookstore called Black and Red, which is a place I've been going for a long time. They also have board games and uh, role-playing games, and they have a whole vinyl section. It's a great, wonderful store. They've got a lot of used stuff, and going in there is just like and a labyrinth of treasure hunting because there's just like stuff piled up on the floor and you just never know what you're going to find. Uh, so to have my book there uh, feels pretty fun and exciting. Uh, so channel stuff, I took a couple weeks and recorded a whole batch of Sphere Hoppers episodes. I think I recorded five kind of in, a, in the same time frame. And three of them are out and there are two more that have yet to come out. The reason I did this is because I was having a really hard time balancing my time between creating new content for the channel and working on the next novel, the sequel to, oops, I broke the business Android, and I thought it'd be easier just to create a bat and then uh, kind of take a break for the holidays. That's something that I'm continuing to try to work to balance about what kinds of things to put my energy into and which my projects is worthwhile. It's all kind of part of the same big project, but that's something I'm continuing to work on and continuing to figure out how to balance what is the most worthwhile use of my effort and creativity. Beyond that, I uh, had a few acting gigs. I had a gig at a casino near here. Um, there's some shots from that on my Instagram, just a photo shoot. And then I had a gig uh, for a murder mystery party. Uh, this is something that I do every now and then. Um, but I got to drive all the way to South Dakota. Um, so it was kind of fun to kind of get on the road. So there's all that. And that's what's going on um, with my creative projects and the Ragamancers as a whole. Things I was not planning to talk about today, um, as you are probably aware by my accent, I live in the United States. Uh, and we, as you are most likely aware, recently had an election, and the results of which I found dismaying and confusing. So thanks to Asin Dean for reaching out asking if I was okay. At the time, you messaged me I was not doing okay. Um, but I'm doing better now. There's obviously something I don't understand here in this result, which leads me to curiosity. A lot of the narratives that I've seen so far seem too quick and too easy to be satisfying. So I'm, I'm going to continue to learn and listen and seek to understand. I have heard a lot of predictions about what this outcome means. I guess it remains to be seen which of those things will come to pass. But one of the problems with having an active imagination is that um, it can sometimes go into overdrive and you imagine all the worst possible 
scenarios. You know, somebody asks you, what's the worst that can possibly happen? And your imagination uh, delivers in spades. If you are struggling right now, I hope you know that you're not alone. If you are celebrating right now, I hope you have the curiosity to reach out to the people who are struggling and seek to understand why they may be distressed. We don't know what's going to happen. Last night, I, I sort of got to a point where I had to refocus, reprioritize, reposition what I believe my role is here as a storyteller. And I thought about the stories that I've told here on the channel and in writing and in other places. Stories about people who are outsiders. Stories about people who work against oppressive, unjust power structures. Characters who um, feel as if they're in the wrong body and are trying to change that. Characters who have empathy and kindness and forgiveness for one another. Characters who work to heal their own trauma so they can be uh, of better service to their friends and companions. I am thinking about all those characters and I think I would like to keep telling more of those kinds of stories. And that's kind of my small part in all of this. All that being said, <laughs> still trying to balance working on the novel with adding things to the channel. So I'm not quite sure what that looks like over the next couple months, but I guess we'll find out uh, when we get there. Enjoy the next two weeks of Sphere Hoppers uh, before we go on a break for the holidays. Be gentle with each other. Be gentle with yourself. Stay curious. And I'm not sure what this means, but uh, keep hopping. <laughs>